There isn't a nonprofit leader alive that wouldn't want to see their event grow. However, where there's a desire to grow, seeing significant growth seems to be elusive. Today, I'm going to show you the best way to increase your event attendance and get fully funded this year. Stay tuned. A few years back, I helped a friend who was planning her first fundraising dinner for a nonprofit organization that battles human trafficking. Their attendance goal was to have 150 guests, so they found a small hotel who could get accommodate. I showed them how to conduct a name storming session to surface potential table hosts and they began incorporating what I've coined the perfect vision dinner strategy. Slowly but surely, the number of table hosts grew to over 60. It became apparent that their original goal of 150 was going to be surpassed as well as the ballroom capacity of 300. Six weeks out, their numbers were over 250 guests with plenty of hosts who hadn't even begun to recruit. The potential seemed enormous. They worried that there was a need to cut off their attendance. Instead, they made the very difficult decision to forfeit the $2,500 deposit with the small hotel and find a much larger venue. It was their hope that getting more guests and of course more dollars would mean more than that lost deposit. Well, in the end, they had over 616 in attendance and raised nearly 300,000 at their first dinner. They couldn't believe they ever sweated that $2,500 deposit. It was one of the most exciting events I'd ever been a part of and a testament to what could happen when recruiting is done correctly. Increased event attendance at an event includes hard work, but it also includes doing the right things. Here's where we start. Key number one, complete alignment. Alignment begins with a basic understanding of the goals of a dinner or an event. Key players involved in running event must be singing off the same song sheet. That includes staff, board, and volunteers, and anyone holding key leadership positions on the dinner committee. In addition, if you have key inviters or recruiters outside the organization, they should be included in the process and, al and aligned as well. A meeting needs to occur where all the players are introduced to the perfect vision dinner strategy. The concept of recruiting for increased attendance and the overall goals of the event. In the perfect vision dinner strategy, the goals of the event are appreciation, information and inspiration, and challenge. There is a thread that runs through every speaker's message, every video and every testimony, and that is thank you. People love to be thanked and recognized for their contribution, whether it be labor, influence, finances, or expertise. It never hurts to appreciate current and prospective partners and appreciate them often. Every event has approximately 50% logical givers, 50% emotional givers. Logical givers need to hear outputs from the organization, data, statistics, and facts. Emotional givers near, need to hear the outcomes from the organization. Stories of changed lives that were changed or impacted by the organization. A successful dinner program includes the right balance of information and inspiration. A successful program needs to include a BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. People are motivated by big goals and big challenges. People want to know that their giving is going to make a difference in the lives of one or more people and perhaps even impact the world. The Bible says without vision people perish. Little dreams fail to inflame the hearts of men or women. People want to be part of something bigger than themselves and a successful challenge finds a way that everyone can give their gift and make a tremendous impact no matter what the size, but especially moves the needle with large capacity donors. I heard a very successful nonprofit leader once say, your loose change won't change the world. Now some might take offense to that statement, but it makes a lot of sense to me. Large gifts are, are going to accomplish great things. Just roaming around in your pocket for loose change to give isn't going to change anything. Successful events don't just happen. 
There must be a unified effort with everyone moving in the same direction. And that direction includes finding table hosts that are going to invite their friends. I've often said there are two ways to get 100 people to an event. You can call 100 people to attend and perhaps get many who know and love you to attend, but that's going to take a lot of time and effort. Or you can strategically call 10 couples or singles who agree to invite eight of their closest friends who have large capacity to come with them to the event. This is by far the most effective way to recruit because you not only get people who know and love your organization to attend, but you can get up to 60 to 70% new donors from your event. Key number two, name storm potential hosts or inviters. Once you have an aligned team, you must find couples or singles who invite eight of their closest friends who have a large capacity to attend. I refer to those individuals as hosts or table hosts. They're asked to fill a table of 10 with individuals who have a heart for your target audience, a passion for the, your mission, and a capacity to give a gift when asked at the event. Aligned staff, board, volunteers, and friends who are networkers are asked to publicly list names of possible table hosts and agree to challenge every person to be a host for the event. It's important to realize that you have to ask three people to get one to say yes. So the name storming needs to gather three times the number of names as necessary to meet your attendance goal. Just a refresher, those at the meeting couldn't just fill tables themselves, but true growth and multiplication comes through recruitment of hosts and not just guests. Key number three, recruit hosts. Over the course of 16 to 20 weeks, those who are committed to invite their friends to become hosts begin the process of challenging couples or singles to be hosts and of course to invite friends. Hosts who are networkers are the best kinds of hosts because they are used to finding and getting plugged into pools of individuals. Once a pool has been unearthed, a host can invite an almost unlimited number of guests. Good hosts include real estate agents, car dealers, insurance agents, lawyers, doctors, bankers, financial advisors, entertainers, small business owners, and anyone who must drum up new clients to survive. Anyone who has started from nothing to open a business, sell a home, an insurance policy, stocks and bonds, or gotten new clients understands the importance of getting people to buy into an idea or concept, just like your nonprofit organization. Key number four, hosts invite guests. Once someone has agreed to host a table or multiple tables for your event, come alongside them to encourage them on the journey. They may be great at what they do, especially sales, but no one wants to go about recruiting guests alone. People love mentors, those who hold them accountable. Table hosts are contacted regularly, called, emailed, texted, or visited. Hosts need someone in their corner either for advice or encouragement. Hosts are instructed to not just get warm bodies to attend, but get the best qualified guest who has a passion for the mission and a capacity and willingness to give when challenged. I've often said I'd rather have 250 people who love us than 500 who could care less about what we're doing. Encourage hosts to find people like them who have the same interest in their cause the beauty of the Perfect Vision Dinner's table host model is that it's friends inviting friends to join them for a wonderful event with great food and someone else asks their friends to give a gift. I've found no better strategy. It's my desire to see your event grow beyond capacity and ultimately see you get fully funded through friends this year. Incorporate everything I've shared and you'll see the dynamic growth you've always wanted. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there's things you especially like or if there are topics you'd like to address. And let this community of life changers know that you're part of making a difference in our world. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next video. If you wish to follow me on Instagram, go to Jim W. Dempsey, or if you have questions, 
Go to Twitter at Jim W. Dempsey and use the hashtag Jim and Java. If you wish to be part of a community of life, like-minded leaders, join our Life Changers group on Facebook. If you know, want to know what to do and what to say on an appointment with a major donor, watch this video and get your development efforts to the next level. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded this year. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.